there are a number of compelling reasons for desktop virtualization. Many of them you've heard about before um, in the panels previously. Um, there's a huge movement away from the bricks and mortar environment. Uh, USPTO is a great example. Um, they have a small, relatively small campus in Alexandria, but they've got thousands of um, patent and trademark lawyers distributed throughout the country. And they were able to avoid millions and millions of, of um, building costs, construction costs, because they transitioned to a virtual work environment. Um, so, you know, there's not only that aspect, but there's also the security aspect of a distributed workforce. Unfortunately, uh, the events of nearly 10 years ago showed us that it can be a little bit dangerous to put all of your eggs in one basket or all of your people in one place. And when you have a distributed workforce, um, you are a smaller target. Um, continuity of operations has become a huge issue, and so many people think of uh, coup plans as something that you implement when a huge disaster strikes. Um, but how many of you are familiar with the story of the IRS building flood in downtown DC a few summers ago? Yeah. Little summer rainstorm uh, knocked the IRS building out for several months. Um, my understanding is that much of their infrastructure was located in the basement. Makes perfect sense, right? You know, uh, where all the water goes. Um, so uh, I encourage organizations to not think of continuity of operations, you know, necessarily just on the large scale, but also you know, the small disasters, the mini disasters like rainstorms, like snowstorms, um, that can really keep your agency from functioning 100% of the time. Um, I think on an intellectual level, everyone would say, I get it. You know, I, I understand the need for new business practices. Um, I understand that telework is beneficial, but really on the gut level, uh, that's where we find resistance. Um, you know, the, the head and the gut are not uh, talking to each other very well. Um, and, you know, we find that 43% of federal managers um, see data security as a hindrance to telework or remote, uh, the remote work environment. You know, is that an actual reality or is that, you know, their perceived reality? It really doesn't matter because perception is reality. So, you know, if we can help address some of these concerns, we can really get to the heart of the resistance um, within uh, the middle management layer where most of the resistance lies.